is the way you're supposed to think in chess. Opponent plays bishop d6, you go, what is the bishop doing? Ah, it's seeing my bishop. Okay. Many of you would react right now and go, I gotta do something. No. Checks, captures, attacks. The only check White has in this That is the internet's is chess teacher, oh, international oh, master, oh, Levy oh, Rosman. Oh, he is the most popular oh, chess oh, YouTuber oh, on the planet oh, with more than oh, 4 oh, million oh, subscribers. He is out with a new book called How to Win at Chess, which we're all trying to figure out how to do. And Levy joins us now. Welcome to the morning show. Thanks for having me. So you have been playing since you were a child. Yeah, since I was five. It was chess or art class after school and chess stuck and art definitely didn't. I probably still can't color in the lines. So <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what made you fall in love with the game? Uh, I think when I was really little, it was, um, it was a big deal for me to be able to intellectually take down massive humans. And I was a small child and mm -hmm. I thought this was just incredible. So this would really calm me down when I was really young. Mm -hmm. How has chess, how has it changed since you started playing? Because we all know the TV series of The Queen's Gambit really has sparked a huge uh, chess boom back in uh, 2020. Yeah, what I always say is when I was a kid, I had to keep my trophies at home. It was a really, really bad thing if my parents told my teachers I was missing school to play chess because I didn't want kids to know. Mm -hmm. And now kids come up to me who I always say look like they would have bullied me in school for playing chess. And they play chess. They're so excited. They watch on TikTok. They watch on YouTube. And I'm just mind blown because it doesn't matter if you're 5, 15, 35, 75, everyone's playing now, which mm -hmm. is... I it's never a cool thing. I mean, yeah, yeah here we are, right? <laughs> yeah. Like, well, this is incredible. <laughs> it was my son who taught me mm -hmm. how to play when he was seven or yeah. so. And he and he joined the chess club, and I was, I was amazed to see everyone involved in doing it. And it's a great game. Let's talk about some of the advantages, some the skills that you pick up and why it's so good for kids and everybody. <clears throat> yeah, so for kids specifically, the benefits are immeasurable. First of all, you learn how to handwrite. So you learn notation because every, every square has a name, right? We have F8, we have certain pieces. So the kids learn that connection between board, writing it all down, patience, consequences of your actions, critical thinking, reciprocal thinking. I have an idea, but then there's a negative consequence, so maybe I should or shouldn't do something. And for adults, it's really humbling too. Adults never want to try anything where they don't feel like they're going to succeed. And as an adult, you're going to lose probably three quarters of the games you play. Who wants to participate in a hobby where they're going to fail three out of four times in the beginning, in the beginning? Right. And then you're going to obviously get better. So there's benefits regardless of the age. And that's really why it's such a fascinating game, I think. But you know what I like playing when I do play? I set up my phone to be a clock. I like the sound of that yeah. clock. Yeah. Every time you do that. Oh, I, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, phone clock, it, it could be a $30 clock, $100 clock. Yeah, the, it's mm. actually like very satisfying to very play in person. You can hit the <laughs> yes. clock, intimidate. You know, it's, it's, it's a serious part of the game. I wish I brought one. Yeah. But. Well, listen, we do have you here, so you're going to give us a bit of a chess lesson. Yeah. You're going to help us uh, sharpen our skills a little bit, and we're going to start with uh, the opening, how to open a game of chess. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. How um, important is that, by the way? Is that critical? It's pretty important. In my book, uh, opening the game is chapter two, because in chapter one, I actually wanted to say how to literally win a chess. Like, what are we even doing here, right? Because we know in sports, it's three to two, you win. Here, if you have more material than me, you actually don't win, because mm. I can still get the golden snitch, so to speak, like in mm -hmm. Quidditch, not to bring in another sport or activity. <laughs> but you can have more pieces than me, but I can get your king, which is the most important. I mean, right. in the beginning, the four central squares are what we're after, and we have something called the golden moves. So the 10 golden moves. So if white got to start the game with 10 moves in a row, what white wants to do is put both center pawns two squares forward. Okay. And that would be e4 and d4. And then you need to bring out your knights. So the knights go up two and over one. You can both move your knights. So you can play knight f3 and knight c3. That's perfect. Okay. And that's better because from the center, you can go everywhere, right? But if you're on the edge of the board, you're not going to go there. Mm. So the only You're going to have to come back to the center anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is why it's better to be here to begin with. And then we have our bishops. And you can kind of tell, right? Like we're, everything's concentrated in this area. I like this. Right? I like yeah. this. Oh, and my then, gosh. Matthew, watch out this yes. weekend. Okay. <laughs> got to get our, our king castled. Castling a little bit of a tricky rule. You can move the king. It's the only move in chess. You can move two pieces at once. Mm -hmm. right? That's, right? But yeah. once you get all the basics down, you realize, oh, this is perfect. I gotta be honest, I'm more checkers than I am chess right now. But Me too I, sometimes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they move all the same, it's easier. I'm a big golfer and I feel like right now Tiger Woods is giving me a golf lesson, right? The chess <laughs> champ wow. is giving, you know, some rookies a, a bit of a chess lesson. By the way, speaking of rookies, what are some of the biggest rookie mistakes uh, to chess players make when they're just starting out or learning the game? Yeah, well, first of all, they weaken their king. We already got that king safe, so we're, we, we passed that. A big rookie okay. mistake is not thinking about your opponent. You, you think you're very selfish. You think, 
oh, I want to go get that bishop. And then you just make a move and your opponent mm. punishes you immediately and you go, oh, I missed that. That's a big beginner mistake. Oh, I missed that. But what did you miss? It's all right here. Like in poker, you don't see your right. opponents or you know, other players' cards. But here everything is visible, so you have to put your, you know, yourself in the shoes of your opponent. I'm going I'm to put another mistake out there that okay. I've made frequently, is when you're playing with your kids and it's a Friday, Saturday, and you make yourself a cocktail, it only hurts your game. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> well, well, there's a fine line there, yeah. I think. Sometimes yeah. it inspires creativity. So. <laughs> yeah. For me, it is the exact opposite. They're just getting faster, and I'm just like, what am I doing? But I'm, okay, but I'm, I'm, I'm memorizing this move right here. We're going to start, we're going to make this little square. Yes. When okay. you play a per another person, they, they want to do a little bit of the same. So maybe you won't get this pawn, you, you only get it there. Right, so, so, you know, because I'm, I'm also going to try to fight for the center. I, mm -hmm. You don't get 10 moves in a row to start the game, but as right. long as you play for the center, get these pieces out. Okay. You're going to have a good game, How hopefully. quickly do you think you could beat either Carolyn or I? I mean, the game would be over in a matter of minutes. Well, it depends. It, see, if your opening is, is not so good, I could try to win within <laughs> seven or eight moves. I just go for your king. Yeah. And right. if you don't protect yourself, then, right? But if you do, like, just even in basic fight, you do this, it's going to be a little hard to break through in, in a boxing match. But right. So, I don't know, mm -hmm. 10 or 15 moves? But that doesn't mean anything. Chess has nothing to do with intelligence at all. It's just... I've played it for 20 years, right? <laughs> I don't know how long y'all have yeah. been doing the morning show, right? But, but it's, I mean, it's, it's the same thing. You, it's patterns. It's just getting right. back in the flow of things. So I'll come back in 10 years. It'll be a very competitive game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How to Win at Chess is available now. <laughs> Levy, thank you so much. No problem. Real pleasure. Appreciate it.